Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss. It's not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. There is a free 14-day trial period. Uh, it gives you access to the platform for 14 days. Uh, and uh, as well as access to advanced order flow webinars that uh, start in about a half hour uh, and all of our other educational resources. There's an educational course uh, and there are several other videos. Uh, you can reach out to us at support at bookmap.com with any uh, problems or uh, uh, questions that you have. And uh, let me show you uh, where you can find Bookmap. Okay, so um, anyway, this is our, our website up here. Uh, just click on explore. And uh, there's an intro video here, uh, so just like a minute long. So uh, I would uh, recommend if you're if you're new to Bookmap, uh, watch this. Just get a feel for what it is. Uh, there's all the different benefits we can go through here. Uh, we're just going to scroll down. And uh, yep, here's uh, uh, you know about Bookmap. You you can click here to sign up for the free webinars. This is the platform webinar that you're in right now. Uh, and then uh, more of the benefits here. Uh, and as it continue down, ah, you can connect Bookmap also to U.S. equities through NASDAQ Total View. It's an excellent data feed for these reasons over here. <clears throat> and then uh, we'll continue down here. Uh, you will need a data provider. Okay, Bookmap is not a data provider. We are a, we are a trading platform, just like NinjaTrader or uh, uh, you know E-Trade or, or E-Signal or TradeStation, uh, etc. All right. Now we do connect to the API in NinjaTrader, uh, as well as TT XTrader Pro, as well as the Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. Okay, so you can also connect into the API of some of these platforms. Uh, other other uh, connections here, uh, just directly through the data provider, just like any other platform. Okay, uh, here's the 14-day trial period. Okay, there's Bookmap Basic, and uh, that's the only version there really is of Bookmap. All the rest are based on that. They're just different features. Okay, so for example, uh, you can see the difference here between Bookmap Basic and Advanced. Uh, are these, uh, well, one is the one-click trading, trading directly from the Bookmap chart, and we have a cache here of proprietary indicators that look specifically at some of the large players in the um, in the market, like uh, using large lot tracker as well as our iceberg detector. And then we're looking for order book imbalances and uh, volume imbalances, as well as how they relate to other markets with a correlation tracker. Okay, quants, you can reach out to us here for your own um, uh, needs at uh, connecting to your own data, proprietary indicators, etc. All right. Okay, uh, that's Bookmap. You can follow us here on Twitter, okay, uh, at Bookmap underscore pro. And uh, you can also uh, subscribe to our YouTube page. And uh, you'll find uh, several videos here. Uh, and just to get started, I would uh, recommend watching some of the intro videos that you see here. Uh, and then maybe uh, take a look at some of the um, features and components, just the basics. Get, get an understanding of what Bookmap is and, and what uh, it offers. Uh, and then there's these video snippets here. Okay, This is what we cover in, more in the advanced uh, analysis webinars uh, that come with the free trial. Okay, so uh, these these concepts, these this phenomena that we see in the order flow, we cover in detail. So you you get a firm understanding of what it is you're looking at in Bookmap and the advantages uh, it gives you. And then in these in these um, webinars, we look for the um, uh, uh, or we anticipate the the future future price movement. Uh, based on a lot of these concepts in the phenomena here. Abdul, thanks for the spelling uh, uh, for uh, for quants there. Um, I'll get to that. Uh, let's see. The um, okay, well that that'll give you a good uh, basis understanding what Bookmap is. Uh, there's some professional traders here as well. And if you want a, a sneak peek into some of the live advanced order flow webinars, there are some recordings here that were back in August. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, let's take a look at some of the markets. Um, and um, I was going to look at maybe oil. wasn't sure. Maybe Nasdaq. Maybe oil. Uh, let's take a look here. What's oil look like in Bookmap here? Because uh, some interesting stuff in oil. 
but uh, we're at all-time highs yet again in NASDAQ. So uh, let's just jump over to NASDAQ. That might be a little more interesting. I mean, we see some, this phenomenon is just, it's just fantastic to see in Bookmap and how it relates to liquidity uh, and, um, uh, you know, where, where the market comes to and trades. Uh, so uh, uh, good, good examples there. Let's jump back to this NASDAQ and what do we see here? Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll stick with the NASDAQ. Okay. Well, let's um, zoom in a little bit. All right. Now, for those of you who are new uh, here to Bookmap, now this is uh, a, a very unique um, display of the market. Uh, and um, it's really nothing new. Uh, it's actually, it, it looks like it's really advanced, uh, et cetera, that there's a lot going on here. It's actually really simple stuff uh, and uh, there are three things being displayed on this chart okay and uh, I'm going to um, we have a, a sub panel indicator here that's showing the um, cumulative volume delta and there's all sorts of studies for these as well but I'm going to close that window up and uh, we're just going to look at um, the um, I also have some other uh, you know you can see the iceberg indicator here uh, with these numbers uh, I'm going to actually shut that off as well. So we won't look at any of the indicators. Um, so uh, the basics of book map, what we're looking at here, it's really pretty simple. Uh, it's just looking at historical best bid and offer. And then these dots that you see here are the trades that took place on the historical best bid and offer. Uh, and then what you see in this uh, uh, grayscale heat map, it's just, it's the auction, okay? Where they're lining up uh, to bid and offer. Okay. Now this is the historical view of it, and that, that's really the the distinction here. All right. So to further explain, we're going to start off with a candlestick chart, and I'm going to take off all of these layers of information, and we're going to make it pretty simple here. Okay. And let's zoom out a bit. Okay. So uh, this is a five-minute candlestick chart. All right. Now it's open high-low close of a five-minute period, uh, and um, and that's that's all the data that you're getting here. Okay, candlestick. I mean, to give it some credit, uh, you know, it, it you can start to read some of the pressure in here by looking at some of the candlestick patterns, etc. With that open high low close. However, open high low close of a five minute period. There is so much more going on here that can lead to a lot of insight of what's going on in the marketplace. All right. So uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, opaqueness in this candlestick chart, and we're making important financial decisions based on very limited uh, uh, data in the uh, in the candlestick chart. So uh, how does Bookmap solve that issue? All right, so let's just turn on historical best bid and offer, and uh, we're already going to see something uh, interesting, and that is microstructure within these five-minute periods. Okay, so how did how did price uh, react? How, there's little uh, structures in here, and we want to understand uh, these structures. I can already see one right here, for example. I'm going to click on the move tool, hover over this area, and zoom in really quickly with my center mouse wheel. Okay. So, you know, we, we see kind of a, um, a double bottom pattern here within this uh, candlestick that you just see as a, a lot of wicks here in a very small uh, uh, body. A lot happened in here that we have no clue uh, looking at this uh, candlestick chart. Okay. So, uh, uh, what we're going to see, or what we do see in the microstructure, uh, is um, this double bottom pattern here, and then we see the break of it right above here. Okay, so uh, we're going to we're going to probably see uh, once we turn on the volume exactly where that volume traded, uh, and uh, how we broke this structure here, and we actually came back down uh, and tested not where we broke from of this structure. We we actually get a little deeper pullback. Uh, and um, uh, get right into the uh, probably the, uh, the the point of control of this little structural area. Okay, so for those of you looking at volume profile, are going to understand uh, book map in in its context of volume rather quickly. Okay, um, so let's turn on the volume and uh, let's see what's going on. Okay, so uh, looking at the dots here, uh, we're looking at um, uh, aggressive uh, classification of volume. So a green dot is equal to uh, market buys. Okay, someone hit the market buy button. Okay, they took liquidity off of the best offer. Uh, and a red dot is a market sell. Okay, and that and we, we consider it the, the aggressor. So let's zoom into this little area right here 
and uh, let me show you what I mean. Okay, so uh, now as I zoom in, uh, we get we get a, a really good picture of what really occurred here, how this market actually traded, and actually uh, uh, where it bid, uh, where was the bid and the offer. So historical best bid is the um, uh, the green line historical best offer is the red and then you can see if we zoom in just a little bit more here we can see these green dots here on the on the best offer okay that's the market buy okay if you want to know exactly what traded here we can hover over and we can see that we get the date the time what was on the ask here the liquidity in the in the book uh historically and then the volume that traded at this price level okay so this was for a volume of six Okay, this dot here is for a volume of two. Uh, this bigger dot is for a volume of 19. Okay, now let's zoom into this little area here because I want to show you how Bookmap actually records all of this data. Okay, uh, now we can see um, very clearly uh, what really occurred here. Right, well, this that volume, that one big dot that we saw of 19 is actually several smaller trades, as we can see. Okay, this is how th these markets trade algorithmically, and there's no question that this this is an algo. Okay, that's executing on the best offer. And how how do I know that? Well, just look at the the, the mechanical uh, uh, trading activity here. Okay, so we get a, like a little cluster here of activity. It's all spaced out equally. Uh, uh, again here, again and again. Right. So uh, we we can uh, start to comprehend exactly how these markets trade. And we're, we're looking at, uh, you know, microsecond level here. Uh, we can continue to zoom in if you really want to see it. Uh, and we can look at nanosecond level. Okay, just look at the timeline down here and you can see we're looking at billions of seconds now. Okay, it's pretty remarkable to uh, uh, be able to see that. But we don't trade off of those levels. So what good is this? Well, first off, what good it is is to understand the algorithmic activity and how these markets actually trade. Okay. Secondly, uh, is uh, in, in these flurries of activity uh, is is really what is uh, part part of the key here. Uh, but uh, secondly, though, as as we zoom back out and we're we're um, uh, basically um, constricting that timeline, it's not expanding anymore; it's contracting. Okay, so we're just going to take all of this trade activity and it's going to be. Uh, as we continue to zoom out, note how it's visually, just visually aggregated. Okay, and to give us the overall volume of 19, okay, in a bigger dot. So we know that volume of 19 here traded rather quickly. Okay, so uh, all the market data is every single event is there. Uh, it's just uh, that, uh, and you can you can view it and access it. But we also give you the overall delta and shape of that volume by the size of the dot, uh, the color of the dot, and we know exactly where it traded as well. Okay, now as I continue to zoom out, note how we display that volume here, and this is that little area we were just looking at. Okay, note how um, the uh, uh, we give you the overall. Okay, so if I hover over that that big dot that is now a pie display, it's showing both buying and selling within this very small time frame. Okay, and it give, it we give you the overall delta, so we know about three quarters of this is aggressive buying. Okay, for a, for a volume of 108. Right, so this is uh, giving a lot of insight here, uh, and uh, it, it's even uh, more insight than you would get through a footprint chart. Okay, footprint chart gives you the aggressor; it shows you where it's trading. Okay, uh, and it gives you the uh, the number. Okay, we're we're showing it to you visually here, but the distinction is uh, that footprint chart is going to aggregate that data back and forth. Okay, it's going to be similar to your five-minute candlestick chart, or maybe it's a bar rotation. Okay, but whatever it is, there's all sorts of data here within this microstructure that gives you the insight to really what's going on here. Okay, and uh, that's what we're that's what I was talking about earlier. Okay, so this little double bottom here, right? Well, we can see the aggressive selling. Uh, we can see how it it pulled the market down, and we actually breached it down here. Uh, but it's it's right here. Okay, where the buyers step in and they sweep the order book uh, up to break the high up here. Okay, and this is actually something really indicative we see in a trend all the time. Is look at how much volume is trading up in some of these areas here. Okay, it's trending upwards. And in, in fact, again in microstructure, 
Okay, and this isn't so microstructure. We're looking at two minutes of data between each vertical dotted line here, but we're still getting a really good understanding of breakout of an area, okay, of this little this little microstructural range, a retest of it here, and the market uh, again. It, you see less volume trading at the lower um, uh, high here, and uh, or the I'm sorry, the higher low, and then uh, and then we rotate back up into trade into areas where it can trade, okay? Because the majority of the traders are interested at a higher price level, and we get price discovery to the upside, okay? So all sorts of details. You're really going to understand how these markets trade and uh, strategies to look for exactly this. This is something we cover uh, during the live webinars, okay? Looking for a return back to where we broke from and uh, continuation and price discovery to the upside. All right now that was broken down here, but we see it resume yet again, same structure or same idea here. Uh, we break the structure and look where we come back and retest. Okay, so actually the kind of interested in that that retest. We uh, uh, retested. If I zoom in just a little bit more, uh, retested. Uh, usually we see it uh, retest here, uh, right to where we broke from, uh, and find the aggressor. Uh, you know, lifting the offer here go back a little bit further here, all right? Goes back a little bit further, but, uh, and then you can see the aggressor uh, on the sell side here. They're gonna be trapped as price moves back up and they're gonna cover up in these areas up here. Uh, and um, takes a little while, but we do get up into that area. And again, resume the trend as you can see, okay? All of that kind of detail. Now it's not difficult to understand. Uh, it's just uh, uh, how the market uh, trades. It's how the market trades to new higher levels time and acceptance and breaking of structural areas, sweeping of the limit order book, uh, et cetera. And uh, this will give you a lot of insight uh, to the behavior of price. And when we uh, start to look for uh, con that continuation of the trend, okay? So uh, that's uh, just looking at those very specific areas. Uh, some nice stuff to see there uh, in, this, uh, in this candlestick chart that is completely lacking of that information that's over here. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we, uh, we, we've we seen the uh, continuation here to the upside. Now, the understanding of the volume is, is key. Uh, and um, it's a big part of the order flow uh, and market, uh, market condition. However, there is a completely other side to it as well. And usually we access that through the limit order book, okay? The current market uh, behavior or picture of that, uh, uh, of the current market, and that's in the dome, okay? Uh, over here in the columns, this COB column, this is the current order book. This here is the dome, okay? It's, this, it's similar to your uh, depth of market that you see in, uh, in your dome. And uh, what are we looking for in a dome? Okay, we're looking for where traders are lined up to trade, okay? We wanna understand that, it's important. Uh, look, look at the, the number of traders down here at 6237. Okay, quite a bit of liquidity down here. In fact, this little white line is uh, one of our add-on indicators, okay, and it shows that uh, about half of this liquidity is one individual actor with 80 contracts, probably a little bit less, maybe around 70. Anyway, uh, so we understand that the market can trade down here, right? So um, uh, there's sellers, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, there's buyers down here, and the sellers, well, maybe uh, if we have some weakness in the uh, in the market here, They'll come down and and uh, and they know that they can trade here because there's there's buyers waiting down here at these areas. Okay, there are lots of different ways to read this order book, but um, uh, the problem here is well, once this and these these numbers change all the time, as you can see. Okay, when these numbers change, that data is gone. We have no clue what 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 happened there. Okay, so a lot of traders that uh, trade off of the dome, well, they're looking for just scalping uh, a few ticks here or there, maybe a few points, but um, uh, to get an understanding of what's going on in that limit order book can be rather tedious by looking at the dome. Okay, you're gonna have to remember all of these areas and what it was like around this area. Uh, if they pulled uh, when price came down to it, if they added in, were they aggressive, uh, you know, trying to front run these guys? What about on the offer? Where are they? There's a lot of information to understand. Where bookmap solves that issue is in the heat map, okay? 
and uh, let's turn off these candles okay and we'll turn on our indicators as well okay and uh, this now gives us a picture of what's going on okay so so for example pretty high liquidity there's a lot of people here on the bid okay we didn't know that beforehand right because we just had the current the current dome and we knew that there was high liquidity here well we can see that uh, there's a lot of uh, buyers they're lining up ahead actually of some of these areas and they're actually it looks to me like uh, well, we can zoom into these areas to really understand it but they're starting to provide liquidity here and they're starting to absorb on the buy side okay now we're getting an understanding of where traders are lined up and if they are transacting at these areas okay and uh, it looks like uh, the aggressive buyers now are starting to step in because we see that uh, these sellers are being are starting to be absorbed was, uh, you know down here at this 38 level for sure okay so and we can see that uh, the market is now reacting to it okay we know that there's buyers here now we can start to target where it's, it might trade on the offer uh, and uh, well here they are uh, up at 44 now how are we doing that in bookmap well in this window here, uh, you can see best bid and offer. Okay, this is the current market. Okay, and this is the last traded volume here. Okay, this this white and uh, uh, this white number, as well as uh, the number here that is the aggregate uh, uh, before it flips to the to the next uh, next price level. Anyway, uh, we take the liquidity, the numbers here. Okay, and uh, we'll paint it in the heat map. Uh, so that area down here at 37, well, they pulled a lot of that liquidity. Uh, we saw, I don't know, 150 contracts here or 160. Well, now it's only 65, okay? So they pulled it. Uh, and they're probably adding it up here at higher levels. Uh, but um, uh, we uh, and now have have a pretty good understanding of, um, of where they're lined up to deal, all right? So uh, where this gets interesting, though, is not in this current window here. It's to the left of this uh, vertical white line, right? That's the historical view, okay? So we record the current book and then project it onto the chart historically, okay? So, for example, let's zoom in here, and we can see that these traders here, okay, that were on the, on the bid, 157, 163 contracts as we roll over this area, well, we came here into this area here and they pulled. Now we're down to 66, okay? Let's use this tool now, okay? Where do they pull to? Well, look look when they pulled here at this level at 37, they added up here at 40, probably the same actor, okay? So now we're starting to understand not only the liquidity at these levels, but starting to target and understand where they pulled their liquidity to, okay? Some really nice insight here. All right, so uh, uh, this is what you, uh, Bookmap allows you to do because we can record that historical limit order book. All of that would be completely lost if you uh, were trying to read that here in the dome. It would be rather difficult. All right, so anyway, uh, that's how um, a Bookmap solves that issue. And as we zoom out, we can get a really big understanding of this uh, this limit order book historically. Okay, now we'll have to. Uh, uh, play around with the heat map and um, let's bring up some of the uh, or play around with some of the settings here and here we go okay so look at the liquidity here we traded into it it was absorbed okay and uh, we, we uh, uh, went uh, it it was like a, a false breakout here we traded back into the range but then the, then the buyers the aggressive buyers stepped in again and uh, and we trade through these areas of high liquidity uh, and then they're on the bid here, uh, flipping on the other side. Now, okay, that uh, that picture that we saw, one of those examples of uh, sweeping of the book and a return back to where we came from over in this area here, well, here's a bigger picture view of that same phenomena, okay? Uh, we broke out of this range here around 35, 36, and now they're here on the uh, on the bid wanting to buy uh, at this higher price level, okay? So you can see here that this is not a, just a, a tool for scalping. It can, use, it can be used extremely effectively for scalping, but it can also be used on higher time frames, okay? So for example, if you were even trading off of a weekly chart and you saw today's movement and you're bullish and you're looking for 
uh, uh, higher prices for the rest of the week and uh, you're looking for a position trade, well, you could uh, start to, you know, uh, uh, follow along when uh, place some of your limit orders in some of these areas of high liquidity, uh, looking to get filled and then looking for a continuation to the upside. Okay. And, or if you're just trading, uh, uh, you know, day trading, uh, you can still uh, uh, look for entries in these areas here and, um, uh, you know, look for the, uh, the aggressor. Okay. So are they going to uh, uh, continue to lift the offer here and maybe come back up in some of these areas here? All right. Anyway, lots of different ways to read and understand uh, this uh, very transparent view of the market. The volume, uh, the microstructure with the historical best bid and offer, and then where they're bidding in the book. All right. All right, guys. Well, let's uh, let's call it a day. If you guys are interested in uh, uh, further education of this, uh, this is where you can find it. Uh, give it a 14-day a trial period. Uh, and um, you'll get access to uh, to Bookmap. Uh, you will need your own data provider, uh, but then um, uh, you also have access to the uh, advanced order flow uh, webinars uh, that starts in just a couple minutes, as well as our Bookmap educational course uh, and other videos. All right. So uh, uh, yeah, uh, give it a try. You really have got nothing to lose, uh, and uh, and then see for yourself if this is something that works for you. Okay. All right, guys, thanks for coming, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow.